Here we are going to talk about Angular uh, development environment setup. By the end of this video, you will have a working knowledge of how to install and set up all the tools required to build a desktop, progressive web app, and a mobile app using a single code base. I'm going to use tools like Node.js, NPM packages, um, Angular framework, uh, Cardova, Capacitor, Git, VS Code, Ionic, uh, Google Cloud, and Firebase. At the end of this video series, I'm going to demonstrate one platform independent app, which is going to work on desktop and most of the mobile devices like Android, iOS, and Windows. So let's get it started. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit my GitHub repository. And as you can see, there are two different repositories I created. One is where I'm using Angular framework with Cardova. Uh, and other one is Angular I'm using uh, with Capacitor. Cardova has been around with us a long time now. It's an Apache framework. Um, Capacitor is very similar. Um, it's delivered by Ionic framework. Let me just tell you that Capacitor is, Capacitor is still in uh, alpha release. Uh, hopefully next month in the month of May 2018 they are going to come up with the beta version but I'm going to try this anyway. Angular Capacitor uh, and Angular Cardova they both are very very similar Install installation instructions are almost the same so one thing I want to mention here that my goal for this whole Angular development environment is to build real world application using a single code base so I'm going to set up my environment in such a way that I can uh, support the different hosting and databases with minimal, minimal changes. And also my goal is to set up this environment so that I can build different kind of apps like progressive web app or iOS or Android app as well as the desktop software. So, and I'm going to use this setup to develop the real world applications. I'm going, I'm, I'll be building the real um, real apps and I'll be hosting it to the Android and iOS community. So first tool I'm going to grab is Git. Uh, Git is the most advanced uh, version control system and it's very very popular among um, the entire developer community. Uh, I have another repository if you are interested in knowing more about GitHub. But let me just quickly install Git on my Mac OS here. So now next thing is I'm going to hit uh, and open a terminal window on my machine. Okay. And the first thing I want to do just to make sure that Git is installed properly, I want to say Git. And as you can see, it returns with uh, all the Git commands here. So that means Git is installed on my machine. Now let me go back to my uh, GitHub repository. And the second thing I believe I want to, second tool I want to grab is the VS Code. VS Code is the most uh, popular text editor and as you can you can download any other text editor like Sublime, Atom, everything will work just fine. Um, VS Code is just happens to be my favorite. So I'm going to grab a copy of VS Code. You can see I have downloaded a zip version of the VS Code on my machine. I'm going to unzip this and um, I believe I will have an exe file. I can open it and I can start working on this. So next thing is I'm going to open this VS Code. And once I have this, I'm going to keep this um, in my dock so that I can open it again. So good thing I like about VS Code is it comes with Git. So I can uh, run all my Git commands from my VS Code. So I'm going to open an integrated terminal here.
So as you see the this third icon, this means the gate is it, it comes with gate. So let me make sure that gate is properly installed or not. So see it came back with gate. But in case if it doesn't come up with one thing I want to mention here, you can quickly go back to your settings and um, here you can update your user settings and basically all you need to do here just do the git dot path um, and make sure that this points to your git dot exe file on your machine so that will if, if the git is not working inside your visual code uh, that's uh, you need to tell your visual code where to find that git dot exe but in my case since it's worked fine so i'm just going to uh, leave this uh, without any more changes so as you can see i have got this vs code here now while i'm here i just want to quickly mention something here there are two extension i want to grab those are very very popular uh, even though if you go to the angular.io they recommend that you should install angular language services so i'm going to get um, angular language service this one oh, sorry this one quickly install this thing okay there's one more thing i want to grab is auto import plugin and i'll tell you later on why auto import plugin is is a must have for your angular development environment so i'm going to install this as well okay so now since i have a vs code installed on my machine let's go and uh, grab node.js Node.js is a must-have tool. So that means like it's, I'm going to set up the Node.js environment on my machine. It's very, very simple. But before I do that, I quickly want to go to the um, Angular, uh, that Angular.io website. And uh, let's see what is the version of the Node they recommend for Angular development. So as you go to the Angular.io, Go to the get started. And as you can see, that make sure what Angular recommends, you should have a minimum version of Node 6.9.x and the NPM 3.xs. As you can see, the minimum, the long-term support Node version is 8.11.1 and the most current is 9.11.1 so I'm going to get this um, get this one the latest release so as long as this node release node release you are going to install is higher than the version angular is recommending you should be fine so just make sure it's very easy just follow the instruction it should be very very quick and you should have a node version installed on your machine So while we are waiting, I will go back to my GitHub repository and uh, actually you need node and npm but the good thing is now npm comes bundled with node so there is no separate installation is required and once the installation is finished, um, all you need to do to verify that you have a working version of node and npm on your machine. While we are waiting, I just want to quickly mention here that if you are working on Windows directory, you can do the, the the setup is very very same the only difference is make sure that your windows environment variables are set up properly so if you have installed the gate make sure that your windows environment variable that you have a um, a path which can find your git.exe and the same thing is like you know your windows environment variable path should be able to find your node.exe that's all it takes otherwise there's no other difference uh, while installing or uh, installing it on mac os or windows so i believe it's already done okay this is done so i'm going to close this now i'm going to head back to my uh, visual Co studio code go back to my terminal and uh, 
this time I am going to say node hyphen V so that's that will come back that will show me what node version I have on my machine so as you can see I've installed that 9.11.1 .1. same thing I will do npm hyphen V so that will tell me I have a uh, node packet manager versions 5.0 6.0 installed so basically that's pretty much it the next step quickly I'm going to show you for all the angular development um, if you hit back to angular.io so the next thing they say that you have to install the angular CLI version CLI is like it's a command line interface tool uh, from angular it's very very popular um, there are other alternatives but I highly recommend installing um, angular CLI so as you can see um, I'm going to install it globally so npm install hyphen g at angular CLI so what it's going to do is going to install a version of angular CLI globally in my machine you can find the same thing on your where your node is installed so that's what actually global means if you're on mac os it might come back showing an error that you might have to run this command with sudo so i think that's pretty much it now you know this is all it takes to install um, uh, you know this all it takes to install all the angular uh, requirements angular tools so next step is like you have to install cordova and other tools but basically those comes on later i'm going to show you when you are when you are ready with your code and you have to want to deploy it to your ios android or your uh, desktop app um, then you will need cordova or capacitor uh, like tools but for now i think uh, what we have is good enough to develop uh, an angular app so I'm going to pause here and in the second video I'm going to show you